Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Keandra Lockett here, and you are listening to my brother, Oliver McCuller, on Industry Talk with Gospel Artist Entertainment. Love y'all. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aldrin McCullough with Gospel Artist Entertainment, and I am back with Industry Talk on tonight, and I have a great friend of mine on the phone. She's such an incredible person. From the first time I met her, she has always been sweet, so genuine, so kind, and um, I can go on and on about her, but um, it would take me all night. And her voice is just out this world. It's very out the box. It's very unique. And um, you know her from the hit group Zyel. Her name is Miss Keandra Lockett. Say what's up, Keandra. <laughs> hey, hey. How y'all doing? <laughs> you know I'm goofy, Keandra. <laughs> Look, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing on this wonderful um, Tuesday evening? I am great. I'm chilling and and feeling good and just excited to do this interview. I want to say thank you so much and that I appreciate you for um, all of the support that, you know, you've given throughout the years uh, up until now. So I appreciate you. I love you. And may God bless your socks out. Amen. Awesome. (laughs) You know, we love you. We support you. We love everything that you're doing with your ministry. And we're actually going to go into that, um, into um, the description of your ministry and exactly, you know, how you got started with your career and everything. But before we do that, um, I know you just recently released some music. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Well, um, I released my first EP on uh, December 18th of 2016. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's on iTunes, Tidal, Amazon.com, and um, on other uh, digital musical or music outlets, excuse me. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I released the music, and, you know, it's just a, it, it's a different spin, you know, from the norm, from the usual that everybody's expecting from me. And um, it's more so a, you know, a jazzy or soulful or more urban contemporary um, EP body of work. And uh, so I just decided to have some fun and to, you know, just kind of basically put me out there um, to introduce who I am away from, you know, the group. Um, right. The group, of course, has, you know, its own sound and, mm-hmm. um, and that type of thing. But, you know, to become established as my own, I wanted to allow everybody to hear a different side of me. That's awesome. I love it. And you know, you are doing an amazing job. Um, even before you, you. Um, became a solo artist, um, Zyel was one of um, the most inspirational groups out there in the gospel industry coming up as an artist. And we will always listen to y'all songs and y'all always ministered every single time y'all got on stage. And to see you all doing your own individual thing is just amazing. I mean, you know, um, it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of um, uh, wisdom and boldness to be able to step out onto a major platform and to branch off to be able to minister to people and to um, still, at the end of the day, come together as a family and reunite. So that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Most definitely. Now, I I want to know. I was trying to find the right words to say, so <laughs> that's why I was like, ah, but that's okay. But how was it becoming an artist, um, growing up as well as getting into ministry? Well, um, as a child, I you know never really saw myself um, in ministry. Didn't understand it. You know, as a child, you don't you know understand those things, and um, I didn't realize or know that this would be my fate, that this would be the journey that, you know, God would have me on. Um, I think that uh, artistry is something that, you know, is is learned when you're in the industry, you know, so it's not something that you just come in saying, I'm going to be an artist. It's something that, you know, you're learned, uh, learned, you know, or taught, rather, you know, to to become. Um, Ministry, of course, is something that, you know, you you learn as you grow and, um, you know, live your life as a Christian. Ministry is, you know, feeding the hungry, um, taking care of the sick, you know, those types of things. Um, and so, 
my my whole mindset and uh, my progression rather towards ministry and artistry really have just at, in the last past couple of years, you know, has um, that I guess like kind of pushed me my realization of what all of this is, it's really pushed me into um, knowing if I wanted to do this or not, you know. Right. Um, knowing that people are out there and, you know, they need help. Mm -hmm. um, they need Jesus. They need, you know, every bit of light that they can get. Um, I, I think that, you know, that's the thing that drives me and pushes me into this whole ministry and, and artistry thing. Although, you know, they are separate entities, you know, ministry and artistry, they're separate. But, um, you know, you got to learn how to balance them. And I'm, I'm learning how to balance them. I ain't perfect. I ain't got a down pack at all. <laughs> but I'm learning how to balance them and learning how to uh, walk this journey the way that God has, you know, told me to walk it. That's amazing. And it's, you know, it's amazing to see somebody to be able to stand not only before the people, but to express how they feel about you know, being in ministry and being an artist, because it's not an easy task to be able right. to m operate in ministry, in ministry and, you know, let alone being an artist and a singer and a worship leader. I mean, you have to endure so much to be able to yeah. stay in that place. You know, a lot of times we, you know, go through out life wanting to be, you know, this person or wanting to do this and do that and then when we finally get into it we don't understand that there are going to be you know different obstacles and situations to come our way to basically not only to test our faith to, but to see if we can handle what we want to be wow. yeah. you know and um our our test really comes with that we uh, we have to understand that um when it comes down to you know, in being in ministry, you know, we have to know that, okay, am I doing this so that I can get fame and not, or, am I, or am I doing this so that I can please God and save souls, you know? And that mindset alone will allow God to be able to take you further than what you can even imagine because it, I always tell people, in anything that you do, you, you must keep God first in all things because that's the only way you will be able to be elevated. That's the only way you will be able to, you know, stay blessed and to prosper in whatever it is that you're doing. It should never get to a point where, you know, we get so caught up in self till we put, till, until we put God on the back burner. And because if we do that, then that allows God to be able to say, hey, okay, I understand that you like what you're doing, but you you put me last. So guess what? I'm gonna have to bring you back down to level one. <laughs> <laughs> so I admire you for you know being in ministry and and doing what you're doing because you're doing an incredible job. You know ministering before the people and you know just um, allowing your sound and your gift to overtake you know people and be able to draw in. And let people know that, hey, God yet lives in me and God operates in me. So I, I really appreciate your ministry. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Keandra. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well, and it's funny that you say all of that um, because that makes perfect sense and you're very right. Um, and it made me think about um, a particular scripture that, you know, I've really been carrying with me for the past couple of months. Right. And as artists, you know, we try, you know, you spoke about fame and that type of thing. And, you know, we, we work so hard to become, and that's okay, um, you know, to want to become something. Because the Bible even speaks about, you know, wanting to become something mm -hmm. and for God and for the work of the kingdom. Right. But um, in First uh, Chronicles 29 and 12, it says, you give riches, you give honor, and it's talking about the Lord. And I also says that you give strength, and it's at your discretion that one becomes famous. Right. One of the translations speaks about it's at God's discretion that one becomes famous. So fame is not a bad thing, but it's just like you said, when you take it and, you know, if you place all the shine and the light on you, it, you know, it does become um, something that is, you know, negative. But God is, he's awesome, he's merciful, he's loving, 
and um, you know, he, he pulls your coattail and lets you know, hey, you know, you get out of hand. You know what I'm saying? But um, and you know, mm-hmm. places you by, right back where you need to be. You know, right. But um, you know, he's just he's awesome. He's amazing. You know, so I, I'm very thankful for uh, you know who he is in my life. You know, my daddy. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, and we. We we must always know that um, in order to succeed, we we have to keep God in the center of anything and everything that we do. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. That is amazing. Listen, I want you to share your um, your um, social media connections and where people can go follow you and get your music. Okay. Well, please follow me on all of my social media accounts. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Keandra Lockett, K-E-Y-O-N-D-R-A-L-O-C-K-E-P-T. And you can also um, join my mailing list and all of that on my website. That's www.keandralockett.com. Y'all heard to go get her music and follow her on all of your social media sites. And check her out. Make sure you go and purchase her music. Go buy it. Don't burn it, as I always say. <laughs> so make sure you get her music. Um, before we go, I want to know, um, is there any encouraging words you would like to give to anybody that maybe um, they want to get in ministry or, you know, is an upcoming artist? You know, is there any encouraging words you would like to share with them? Sure. Um, I would like to refer back to the scripture that I just um, gave, uh, First Chronicles 29 and 12. And I want to refer back to that because, as I said it before, we as artists, we try so hard to, um, to push and to, you know, have a, a brand and um, have great popping music and worship music, contempor- whatever it is. You know, we try so hard to make sure that everything is on point. And we dash into this feeling like, okay, we're going to put this music out, we're going to put all this stuff out, and it's going to blow up. Right. Well, the, when I refer back to the, the, the scripture, it says that it's at God's discretion that mm-hmm. he, you know, gives these things to us. So when God deems that you're prepared for it, he'll make sure that it happens. But it's up to us as the individual to be prepared. So get prepared. Get ready, get in your word, gain some understanding about who you are, what you want to do, you know, exactly. and understand your purpose, walk in that, stay in your lane, and God got the rest. That's it. That's awesome. Listen, those are some good um, words and wisdom that um, I hope everybody, you know, was able to take in and you know, those are some good pointers and everything that Keandra said is so very true. And um, the one thing that stuck out to me is to stay in your word and, you know, and just follow, just follow his path. You know, he will always lead you in the right path and um, he will never fail you. Oftentimes we, you know, we count on man to do it this way and that way. But, you know, man is going to fail us all the time, you know, but once we actually come to the realization and say, you know what? I can't go with man's plan. I have to go with God's plan. I promise you, through all of the obstacles and different things that we encounter, God will never lead you in the wrong direction. So I I really appreciate those encouraging words, Keandra. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I hope everybody was able to take that in because it's much needed. Um, So with that being said, y'all, this is the end of our interview. I'm sorry, but we have to cut it off. But you can definitely um, check out Keandra Lockett. Go and get her music. Stay connected with her ministry. Add her to your playlist. Get her music on all of your digital media outlets. And you definitely want to book her for your next event. So thank you for listening to Industry Talk with myself, Aldrin McCullough, and Gospel Artist Entertainment with my guest on tonight, Miss Keandra Lockett. Until next time, y'all. Be blessed and stay safe. We're out.